So, I've been reading Depth of Honor as of late, and uh, in that novel there is a story development where the in US Navy seems to be very close to squaring it off with the Indian Navy, where basically two US carriers are playing cat and mouse with a number of Indian Navy ships. Either way, I've uh, in the novel this conflict never develops because um, a show of force uh, basically scares the Indians back into port. However, I decided that it would be fun to see how that conflict might have actually developed. So, as we enter the story of this little single mission, the Theodore Roosevelt in on patrol in the Indian Ocean is being fired upon by four missile boats from the Indian Navy. M meanwhile, a uh, carrier group consisting of two smaller carriers have launched sea harriers against the Theodore Roosevelt. Now, the Theodore Roosevelt has decided that they will return in kind and have an alpha strike on deck to sink as many Indian ships as possible, the focus being on the carriers. So, um, we will, our role in this will be to uh, serve Captain Crozier very well and shoot down every single sea harrier that we see. Uh, we have four harriers at our disposal here and I'm just going to be moving out of the way because one of the Alpha Strike Hornets seems to want this catapult. So we are going to be turning around and once this guy is off the deck, we will be stealing his catapult. And that should give this guy... Ah, uh, he ca still can't pass, pass us by, it seems. There's plenty of room, so I don't know... I don't really know what he's waiting for. Missile, 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 missile! God damn it, that was close. One of the Indian missiles got shot down far too close to our carrier there. We better get off the deck before someone has to get a broom. I think we got CV's weapons fire awfully close here. Yes, another one, another missile! Another missile shot down very, very close. We need to get the hell out of Dodge, and I... And the faster we get out of dodge, uh, the exposed crew on the ship can get into cover. I mean, we don't want the shrapnel from those missiles to... Oh great, now missiles from the escorts on the other side are intersecting the flight path. So we are gonna have to do this while they're basically shooting at us. And that is not going to be easy. In fact, I have this feeling it might actually be... Somewhat terrifying. We are gonna line us up here. Right. And he wants us to extend our wings. We can do that. Extending wings now. And we are going to extend our launch bar. We are gonna set takeoff trim, we are gonna set TACAN, the ship's uh, number, which is 37, I think. Or is it 27? I might need to double check. No, it's 73. So clear 73 is the TACAN for the Theodore Roosevelt. We are going, our IFS is on, our data link. Our data link is on, and he wants us to uh, increase power, so we roll into this. There we go, and we are—he uh, wants us to spool up our engines. Dodge there we go. Airborne. And we are going to be testing our control surfaces, making sure that they are fit and primed for the duty we want them to do. Now there's a bunch of fires in the distance, I hope that's the Indian missile boats. So, we seem to be good. 
throttle is up and ground crew, I salute you. Shooter ready. Shooter ready. Afterburner. Whee! And we're off the deck. Wheels up. Looks like things are calm, coming down right there. So we're gonna be switching to the air-to-air -air mode almost immediately. We are going to... Yeah, we already have hostile contacts on the data link. We're gonna be climbing a bit to at least 10,000. And then we are going to start prosecuting the contacts. It is unknown how large a force the enemy has sent towards the carriers, but either way, it is the job of me and my wingmen to try and decimate it as much as we can. However, much many of my wingmen are still down on the deck, so we are gonna be f evening out on 10,000, uh, in the hopes that the enemy airplanes are trying to approach us low. I mean, approaching high is probably a stupid idea considering the capacities of the E-2 Hawkeye and the capacities of the AMRAM missile. But it also depends a bit on what they are armed with. We do not have any current intelligence reports. Okay, the rest of my flight is fairly scattered behind me. But we don't really have much of a choice. We'll tone this down to... Uh, 40 nautical miles and Okay, so the flight is fairly scattered behind me and uh, we are taking it low and slow. We have the enemy contacts on the data link straight ahead. And I'm also going to uh, start listening for the electronic signals. We have a radar lock on an unknown target. We are going to be running the IFF on that one. IFF comes back negative. Target is confirmed hostile. I say again, IFF confirmed hostile. Most likely an Indian Navy airplane, unknown type, uh, most likely Harrier. We're gonna be setting the. We have a number of contact reports. Springfield flight, you're clear to engage. They say again, Springfield flight, you're clear to engage. We're closing on the targets. Dodge 2, passing waypoint 2 at 7,000. Springfield 1, three. Fox 3! Lots of missiles going away there. Switch to close up. We lost our, our sidewinder, lost the lock. Fire second sidewinder. Springfield 1, Fox 3. 3, Fox 1. 3, engaging bandit. Looks like one of our wingmen's got him instead. I see another cluster of a. I see another cluster of enemy targets. Get ahead. Fox 3, ball sight. Flash him. I can see them. He's popping flares. Not making it easy.
Ball side lock. Try to get him. We lost him. I can see one high above, but that looks like th the guy you splashed. Good show. Altitude. Altitude. I don't see any more targets. It might be that we splashed them all. Let's see what the Overlord has to say about it. Overlord, one, one. Springfield, one, one. Request bogey dope. Springfield, one, one. Overlord, one, one. Bra, two, three, six, four, four. At eight. Copy, two, three, six. Altitude. That is most Altitude. likely a friendly target. I say again, that's most likely a friendly target. Yeah, that's a twin tail, that's a hornet. We do not fire. Copy, 19944. But I think uh, Springfield 4 just, just splashed him. Yeah, I can see it. Wait. I have an unknown contact. Dead ahead. Lost him. Yeah, I think we just uh, did a clean house on the on the enemy there. So let's check the H. Let's go to the HSI, put the Tacan up on there, and head back to a victory dinner with Captain Crozer. So we got the Tacan home plate locked in, and we are just gonna retrim our bird because we have some missiles uh, on the wing there that causes a bit of a weight imbalance. And uh, flight, you are all clear to return to base. Uh, go to return to base. Flight RTB. Two and three are Roger, but I didn't hear number four. Well, number four will report in when he feels like it, I suppose. Zero one seven. See you at ten. Update state switch down. Zero one seven. Low state eight point three. Zero one seven. Overhead angels two point five. Holding hands with zero one eight. Zero one nine. Zero two zero. Low state eight point three. Zero one seven. Power Roger. BRC one one eight. St. Louis Charlotte. Zero one seven. Copy that, Theodore Roosevelt. 017 is coming in for landing. We'll do a pale imitation of case 1. Something that I have never practiced and something that I'm not very good at. So, apologies in advance of what you are about to see here. So, flaps are down to half. And gear are going down. Hook is going down. At least we have a clear deck to work with. I mean, thank God for small favors, eh? And we have a rather heavy plane to work with. In terms of everything, I do prefer my plane to be heavy when landing on a carrier. And the reason for that is, it's far easier to add power 
than it is to add a reasonable sink rate. And heavy cargo, you guessed it, will add to your sink rate. Also, this turn right here is an abomination. I mean, it's basically... We'll have to add too much power here. This, this turn right here is an absolute shambles. This turn right here is not something I should ever have attempted. So, I can really see all the YouTube channels, all the YouTube comments saying, I don't have a fuck of what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of the point. I'm still under the learning curve here. So we are heading on to the carrier, and we are too low. We are very much too low, because we bled off way too much speed during that turn. If this is not a bolter, I'm going to be very surprised. So we have hook down. Dodge 3, passing waypoint 3 at 7,000. We need to climb a little bit, make sure the... Dodge 3, on station at Bulls 271 for 190 at 7,000. Uh, that's the first wire, so low. First wire means low. So we're going to be flipping up the hook. We are going to be folding our wings. And we are going to park ourselves in the corner of shame. Because uh, that approach was an insult to naval aviation. That landing was an insult to naval aviation. They're gonna be taking my wings f for this. Or rather, they should take my wings for this.